Hi, this is Darshan Santal and welcome back to our series on derivatives. So in the, in the past videos, we've been focusing more on the conceptual side of derivatives, which is talking about the definition of the derivative and those fundamental ideas behind what the derivative is and what it really tells us. So in these videos and this one and the next few videos, we're going to be talking more about calculating derivatives. So the power rule is the first step in that. And uh, without further ado, let's get started. So derivative calculation by the limit process is very long, if you remember that. It's not necessarily difficult, but it's just very, very tedious. So that's why it's not very efficient for us to use that. Now the power rule, thankfully, offers a very quick way for us to calculate derivatives, which is nice. So let's consider the function f, y, f of x equals 10x to the ninth. So this function would be a nightmare to calculate with a limit process, just because you have that x plus h to the ninth term, and that would just be a nightmare to foil out and cancel, and it would just be really, really annoying. So there's gotta be an easier way, and that's what the power rule does. So let's see how that works now. So here's how you do it. You take this nine up here, which is your, which is your, lead, which is your power, and then you multiply it down here to your leading coefficient. So you take your degree or your exponent, multiply it to your leading coefficient. Then what you do is you subtract one from that degree. Okay, so that's what you do. So let's let's see what we get if we do that. So we get that f prime of x equals 10 times 9 is 90. x to the 9 minus 1 is 8. This would be our answer. Now let's just go ahead and take a minute to put that all in words. So we sort of just did an example. Let's just put that in words now. So to calculate a derivative, or to calculate a derivative using the power rule, you multiply your leading coefficient by your degree. So once you've done that, you subtract one from the degree. And again, this is just what we did. We just did this a moment ago. So you multiply your leading coefficient by the degree and then you subtract one from the degree. So now let's just go ahead and write this out as a definition. So let's see. So the derivative of a times x to the n equals so you have n times ax to the n minus 1. So that would be your definition of how to calculate derivatives using the power rule. That's your rule right there. Of course, this is how you'd say it in English. That's just for people who like things out in equations. So let's move on now. Let's just do a couple of really quick examples to wrap up this video. So negative three x cubed. So again, all we have to do is bring the three down here. So we'd have a negative nine. Now three subtract one. So you'd be left with x squared. Now this one. So you bring the two down here. So you'd have a 16 subtract one, just an x. So this one might be a little bit trickier. That's just because you don't see an exponent there. But then recall, recall that this is that x with a square root is essentially the same thing as x to the one half. So this is really two x to the one half. Now we just repeat the same process. We bring this down here, which means we will have one half times two is just x. Then one half minus one is to the negative one half. Okay. So that's how we do that. Now, f of x equals one over x. Again, same problem, just you don't see an exponent right there. So we're gonna rewrite this as x to the negative one, okay? So if we take a derivative of that, we just do the same thing again. So bring this down, so we have a negative x times, when we subtract one more, you have the negative two. So that's how you use the power rule, and I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like this video, subscribe, share it with your friends, leave a comment, tell me how I'm doing. This is 
pretty new to me, so I just wanted any constructive feedback would be helpful. Thank you and have a nice day.